Did you know that the Brother NV180 has 30 built-in decorative stitches? But what can you use them for? That's today's topic on Sewing Saturday. As a sewing beginner, we sometimes get confused with so many tips and tutorials online. And I'm glad to introduce you to our newest sewing video series featuring the easiest tips and tricks that I wish I learned when I started sewing. It's Julius again from Sew It's Your Style, and welcome to Sewing Saturday, where we teach you how to become a better sewer. From tips and tricks, all the way to making your very first project. Join us today as we explore the basics of sewing. The Brother NV180 is indeed one of the greatest sewing machines from the Innovis line. It's a triple treat, which includes sewing, quilting, and embroidery. It has 181 built-in stitches, 80 embroidery patterns, as well as a couple of lettering fonts for personalization. But oftentimes, we tend to forget that there is so much more that we can get from our sewing machines, such as the Brother NV180. Traditionally, home sewing is done by assembling or constructing the garment entirely by the sewing machine. And finishing details or embellishments, such as buttons or embroidery designs, were entirely made by hand. Not in the case with today's highly modern computerized sewing machines, such as the Butter NV180, where you can literally design and construct a garment without having to exert an effort in hand sewing. And that can save plenty of time constructing a well-made garment. So let's explore some of the decorative stitches that can help elevate your sewing skills to the next level. As I have previously mentioned, there are actually two main categories of stitches. The utility stitches and the decorative stitches. The decorative stitches are stitches that can function either as a reinforcement or as a decorative touch to garments or projects. Also termed as decorative embroidery, which can be traced back to as early as 3rd century BC in China. However, most of these were done by hand and were often seen as elaborate embellishments on garments of wealthy people. Few of the most known decorative stitches that can be traced back in the earlier period in time are the blanket stitch, the buttonhole stitch, the satin stitch, as well as the cross stitch. Thousands and thousands of years later, we still employ these techniques in sewing, as these stitches still remain as the fundamental techniques in embroidery today. A few examples of those decorative stitches that can be found in the Brother NV180 includes the well-known scallop stitch. This can be used on edges of tablecloths pillowcases, or even the hems of your garments. It is also mostly used on silk fabrics, as it can be applied as a finishing stitch and also an embellishment. In this example, I have embellished the color of my shirt with the scallop stitch using a white cotton thread. The stitch gives an accentuated detail that is subtle but recognizable. Another stitch that I'm yet to explore, since I am into quilting, it is the quilting stippling stitch. The quilting stippling stitch is used for background quilting. As a quilter, my go-to quilting stitch is the stipple stitch, as it gives me so much control of the stitching, and it's fast, which enables me to finish my quilts quicker. Traditionally, this is done by dropping the feed dogs on the machine, and attaching the free motion foot. The fabric is then moved in a random curve-like motion that resembles that of a puzzle piece. However, 
The Brother NV180 has a built-in stipple stitch that can be very helpful, especially if you're not confident enough with your free motion quilting. All you need is the presser foot J, and you're good to go. And there is no need to drop the feed dogs, as the machine will do the work for you. Our next example is the heirloom stitch. The NV180 has more than 10 heirloom stitches that can imitate the fine French sewing of the 1890s. If you are aiming for that hand-sewn look on the details of your garment, you can benefit from utilizing some of the heirloom stitches available on the Brother NV180. Heirloom stitches are actually very popular among children's clothing or women's wear, such as wedding gowns and lingeries. But they can also be used in men's wear for elaborate and tailored clothing. Let's try some of the heirloom stitches on this machine. The heirloom stitches can vary based on the design. These two right here are called the honeycomb heirloom stitch. They look like honeycombs. And this right here is called the daisy heirloom stitch, which resembles like small flower daisies. This will look great when using thick embroidery threads. Use these on your projects and people will think you've sewn them by hand. And heirloom stitches can add a more valuable look on your projects. And our last example is the figuring stitch. Figuring is a technique that is used to join two fabric panels together with a gap between them. The gap are called open seams where leather-like stitches were sewn along the folded edge of fabrics. Also called bridging stitch. They're also one of the oldest tiles in heirloom sewing that can be traced back to the 1800s in France. But hand sewing no more, the brother NV180 is capable of doing the figuring stitch. This can be great for joining lace to lace or lace to fabric, as it creates a unique look by producing a hand sewn look and a delicate heirloom quality. These are just a few examples of the decorative stitches found on the brother NV180. They're mostly used for their decorative nature, as well as their practical application on garments or other projects. You can use them on the hems of your garments, on the edges of your projects, on your collars, and your cuffs, as well as your curtains, if you will. These machine stitches are often neglected by most sewers, simply because beginner sewers tend to gravitate towards the idea that sewing machines are only there to join two pieces of fabric together. But there is so much more that you can do. Thank you for watching Sewing Saturday. It's Jillis here with you, signing off and saying, don't be afraid to explore your sewing machine. I will see you in the next episode.